So GSC Game World just released a new trailer for Stalker 2, and outside of the delay from December to quarter one 2024, the game is looking, uh, how do I say it? It's significantly downgraded from the original trailers, which wouldn't be a huge issue if the game itself didn't look like it was struggling to keep up to 30 FPS in some of these outside sequences. Some of these shots look borderline unplayable, or at the very least, chugging the system that it was recorded on. Stalker 2 is one of the most anticipated upcoming FPS games, and I'm not too sure how I feel about it looking at this recent trailer. Truthfully, I don't care about the visual stuff. Down grade it all you want as long as it doesn't look like the original games i think most of us wouldn't care but the performance issues shown in this trailer they're concerning to say the least i'm also noticing a trend with this game that any sort of criticism or discussion surrounding you know causes for concern or how the game's gonna be at launch they're met with the standard uh they're developing this in an open war zone cut them some slack and like fuck i i, I actually agree with that the delay to 2024 has been met with some criticism on line look delay the fucking thing get it right but we're about six months from launch give or take to be within that quarter one 2024 and uh the downgrades like both visually and what looks to be performance i'm definitely questioning now what this game will look like at launch i will say though kudos to gsc for showing us how the game actually looks and runs right now instead of you know straight up lying and trying to beat around the bush that a lot of AAA studios have but it's still a cause for concern. It may be explained away that this is being recorded on a console instead of a PC, but like, that also doesn't make me feel good. Yeah, sure, my PC version will be the ultimate way to play, but I also know that I have a significant console crowd that I need to speak up for. What's their experience gonna be like if this is indicative of how the game is going to perform at launch? And trust me, I know we still have six months, but when you're making a trailer, you pick the best footage possible to showcase to your potential consumers. And if this is where we're at, yeah, I'm nervous. I'm seeing some discussion around this trailer as people are kind of explaining it away saying that this is an old build and you know it's it's a few months old and they've made a lot of progress since then we don't know that a and secondly that really reminds me of the discussion around battlefield 2042 <laughs> leading up to launch one thing that i do find really interesting is when you look at the dislike ratio and the comments on places like GameSpot, which would reach an audience outside of the stalker 2 fan base it's not looking good and people are in my opinion rightfully pointing out just how downgraded this is looking but but it's a stark contrast to the comments and the like ratios on the GSC YouTube channel itself. Which leads me to believe, and this isn't a surprise to anyone, but there is a large, dedicated community who is seemingly ignoring some of the red flags that are popping up in this trailer and praising GSC without a second look. Where I'm at now is, like, I, I want GSC to succeed here. They need it, and Stalker 2 needs all the love that it can get. I don't know why, but I feel like another delay is almost inevitable at this point, and if it's not, I really hope that GSC is confident that people will have a smooth, solid experience. Switching gears, the game director and CEO of GSC recently did an interview at Gamescom with IGN in which he detailed the day-to-day -day life of developing a game within an active war zone and like, man, my heart goes out to the entire team for putting it all on the table, even with all of these issues. Like just as a man, I have a whole hell of a lot of respect for what they've gone through. Like, if this game launches and doesn't live up to expectations after 10 years of development hell, developing in an active war zone, like, yeah, I'm not gonna be surprised at that at this point. That being said, I feel like the FPS crowd needs a win right now, and I know a lot of you guys are anticipating this title greatly, and I, I just, I hope that what we see in the trailer isn't indicative of what we're going to see at launch. And that's not to say that the entire trailer was trash. The first opening shot of the player walking out of the sewer tunnel and just seeing that kind of like, you know, low light, you see the reflections on the little swampland river in front. Like there are shots in this game that still, even with the visual downgrade, look phenomenal. And then there are shots that 
look a, a little bit concerning. And I've seen comments where people are saying that half of the trailer was recorded on Xbox, half of the trailer was recorded on PC. There are a couple of interface things you see where you see like, you know, F1, F2, F3. So you can tell that that shot was recorded on PC. There's so much like unknown at this point as to where they're actually getting these recordings from. But there are shots that look fucking beautiful. Some of the lighting and texturing on some of the brick walls, like I, I'm, I'm kind of impressed in certain areas. I, I obviously YouTube video, it's going to be decompressed. And I do know with games like this, like you guys know, if you watch like a Tarkov streamer or even a Tarkov video, foliage always gets compressed heavily when you're watching. So until we see what it looks like on our screen, we won't know for sure. But it's clear that the developers have had to make some sacrifices in the visuals to make sure that this game runs at at least a solid frame rate. And I don't know if we're even there yet. Let me know what you guys think down below. Again, I know a lot of you guys are really excited for this game, and I am too. I am not a huge Stalker fan. I tried Anomaly last year, and I enjoyed what I played of it, but it was just too dated for me to really want to dive into it. I'm that kind of person. I'm sorry. I am really looking forward to diving into Stalker 2 and having that be my first real foray into this franchise. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below. Gamescom is happening all this week, and there's a shit ton of stuff that I do want to talk about. And this just popped up this morning, so I wanted to get my thoughts out there. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, a dislike if you didn't. I know there's going to be some people that dislike it simply because they feel like I'm attacking their precious. It's not about that at all. I want this game as much as you guys do, and I want it to be as good as humanly possible. Thank you guys. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one. I was attacked while on a job. I got hit in the head, and when I woke up, I was in almost nothing but my birthday suit. Got nowhere to go back to, Herman. Over and out.